I've had this car for just over three years and getting close to 60,000 miles. Most of the time that I'm driving it, I am on autopilot. If it can do the steering, I let it do the steering because I love to see what it can do and what it can't do. I was recently accepted into the FSD beta program. This is the fourth version of FSD beta software that I've had the chance to evaluate. And let me tell you, it is nowhere near what it needs to be for a public release, but holy cow, this is the first time that it has performed the way public build autopilot performed for me when we first got this car. That's to say that it has occasional phantom braking, it does weird things with the steering, but I have had for the first time drives without any kind of intervention whatsoever. I've had multiple drives so far without any kind of intervention whatsoever. We're gonna see if I could put another one together today. And it has fixed a number of problem areas that I've experienced. I'm gonna tell you right now, your experience where you live, where you drive, this software might perform very differently. It seems that it can be two steps forward and one step back with every update, even public build is that way, but sometimes it's two steps forward in one area of the country and the kinds of driving that the car faces there while being one step back in other areas. Here's an area right here where FSD beta performs way better than public build autopilot because it knows that those cars are not on the road. It did a little bit of a brake check right there because of the pedestrians because it tries to figure out what the pedestrians are going to do before proceeding past them. But that was not because of the cars. In public build autopilot, every time I've used it, it actually comes almost to a full stop, going around that corner with all those cars parked parallel to the lane mile, of travel. Turn right onto Durley Road. Because it treats them as if they are in the lane of travel. FSD Beta knows that they are not. We're coming up on a right turn at a traffic light. It is a T intersection, and previous editions of FSD Beta have not gotten over into the right lane soon enough. It is now turn right onto Dorley getting Road. over not really in time. It still crossed a solid white line, but that is way better than it has performed in previous versions of the software. Now let's see if it can safely do a right turn on red. So far, so good, and it did. That was fantastic. One of the things that I've had to learn as a beta tester is that the torque sensing in the steering wheel has two modes. It has a high confidence mode where it takes a considerable amount of torque to kick it out of auto steer. That mode is the same as what public build autopilot has. And then it has a low confidence mode where I will kick it out of auto steer without trying at all. I barely even feel a difference in what my hand is trying to do and what the steering wheel is trying to do. So that's why I've gone to just letting the steering wheel slip through both of my palms, both of my sets of fingers, instead of holding on to it trying to co-steer during times where I know it's in that low confidence mode. I don't want to kick it out of auto steer, but I want to make sure that I'm ready to take over if it starts to do something that I'm not happy with. This intersection itself is too wide for public build autopilot to handle, at least up until I got FSD beta software. It would just kick out of autopilot if I was first in line. As long as I had a car to follow, it would be fine. But in that situation, it would have said, autopilot unable to proceed, please take over. FSD Beta has always been able to handle that even when I'm first in line. This is safe, but this is something that it does. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so that was that was not okay. Wow. So I was just about to take over. I have no idea why it just did that. I am looking out the windshield. I'm gonna be able to look at the video and see what the animation is suggesting the animation is not showing everything that the software is thinking about but it often will reveal when the software has gotten less confident about where it needs to go and so i'm gonna have to see uh, what the animation says for that but yeah that was 
not okay. I still don't know why the software did this, but you can see the path flip-flop between the left turn lane and the lane I was already in. This was enough to cause the software to steer partway into that lane before correcting itself. Definitely not comfortable or even potentially legal thing to do, but it did not impede any other vehicles or otherwise feel like it was gonna collide with something. And I really don't need to be in the left lane right now anyway. I've got quite a bit of time. I've got, now it's still over half a mile before I need to make a left turn but I'm cruising along in the go fast lane of this four lane road and I shouldn't be. There isn't a lot of traffic, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm gonna let FSD beta do what it wants to do. But this should be just getting over now. Now would be the right time. As a human driver, this is where I start to get over into this lane so I don't get blocked off from the upcoming left turn. Feet. Turn left to take the Wave Avenue ramp. So right now I'm feeling uncertainty in the braking and the accelerator and the braking and the accelerator. It feels very much Your like the autopilot that I had when I first got this car. Okay, it should just go and it does. Excellent. Okay. The last time I tried this merge, it completely failed with this version of the software, even though it successfully completed this merge many, many times on previous versions. It just waits too long, and then it was slowing down for cars. Okay, since there was no traffic, it didn't have any issues, but I'll probably roll in footage of it having problems so you can see what I mean. This was that same merge two days before. There was one and only one vehicle that the software had to deal with in completing the merge. But instead of just accelerating and merging in front of it like was completely safe to do, FSD Beta decided to slow and slow and slow as the other driver slowed and slowed and slowed to try to let me merge. I know some of you might be thinking that if the other guy just did what he was supposed to do, FSD Beta would have been able to merge behind him just fine. But even that would not have been just fine. Just fine would have been to simply make the merge when the way was perfectly clear from the start. And this isn't so bad, getting over this lane, it's the proper lane for the upcoming turn, plus the right lane will often get backed up by vehicles about to take this exit. Now, it actually should already be down to 35 miles an hour. We passed a 35 mile an hour speed limit sign that did not get registered. A lot of people don't actually slow down that much as it is, but 60 miles an hour right up until this traffic sign is just too fast. And I'm gonna just take this all the way down to 35 manually. This is exciting, we're almost at the destination. And though it has not been smooth like a human driver, and it's my, my teenage driver, by the way, is smoother than this software already, for sure. Uh, it has been safe enough. It has been smooth enough. I haven't had to take over. Now, get in that left lane. It should be already working its way. Yeah, so that was not early enough and then a super fast correction. Now turn left onto Ridge Road. And green arrow, just go, just go. Yay! And if it makes this right turn in the correct lane, get in the right now lane. Turn right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Craziness! Oh, what are you gonna do? Okay, yay! I'll count that as a success. That was another complete drive without intervention. It was not a challenging drive, in but neither was this very drive the times where I've had to take over for various reasons. So I am thrilled at what this just did given my expectations of this software. I am not expecting RoboTaxi 2022. I'm not expecting public release of FSD software in 2023 or 24 uh, for that matter. I am very excited with the progress that I have seen between where this was just when I first got in the program a couple weeks ago and where it is right now. I am 
completely now your destination thrilled. is on the left All right, let's reverse the process. Now Holy crap, crap. no! Oh my God, no! Now turn right I'd call it running a, a stop sign because I started it way behind where you need to be at a full stop. I was trying specifically to see how it would handle the stop. And no, <laughs> there's no lane to change into. <laughs> It just goes to show you that the same place, two different directions, you could have completely different challenges. And okay, so I haven't had to intervene, <laughs> but I would have absolutely gotten a ticket for rolling through that stab sign if a cop saw me. Okay, what are you doing? Wow, cutting in tightly behind the one and only one car within half a mile of me, and now it's cutting back over what my hand is pulling <laughs> oh this is comical the difference all right so let's see what happens here because it, it used to not be able to handle this construction exit does it do it no now take the blue ridge road exit on the right yep construction detected navigate on autopilot limited well that's a little late to decide that there's no lane to change into. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Blue Ridge Road. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> but it's okay, we've got an alternate route to, to choose and we'll see if it does it correctly now. <laughs> I am gonna say I'm still at zero intervention. But I would not say that this has been a successful drive already. <laughs> Just because it can do something without crashing, I do not count it as a success. That was the right thing to do right there. Take the Edwards Mill Road exit on the right. Oof. Now keep right to take Edwards Mill Road. Yeah, that's uncomfortable braking. And now it's slowing a little too much. I just don't think it can see. I think that's the issue with the cameras. It should be accelerating now. Luckily, there's no traffic right now. This has been a really good test to see what the software can do just in the map that I have to drive without having to plan around other people doing things, whether they're appropriate for, for what they are supposed to be doing as a driver or not. This, this certainly isn't a complete real world test because there isn't the traffic on this road that there usually is but that doesn't mean that this is valueless as a test. I think actually this is pretty valuable because you can't blame the things that Autopilot is doing, the FSD beta software is doing on other cars. It did get over into this lane a little early. I should be in the right lane still. I do have a left turn coming up, it's a half mile out. I tend, as a human driver, depending on how much traffic there is, to get over right about here before this traffic light, if, if I see a lot of traffic, just so I don't get cut off from being able to get in the left turn lanes. On a day like today, I'd still be in the right lane, and I would just be working over to this lane right about here. Turn left onto Durley Road. Now, it should pick the leftmost turn lane. Let's see if it does that. Really fast, way too fast, no turn signal. Now turn left onto Durley Road. Yeah. So it's still a problem with this version. It will 
pull into turn lanes. It will make lane changes like that without using a turn signal. And it will also do it not just with harsh steering input, it will do it at speeds that it really that's really not comfortable. It's not necessary. Someone's gonna watch this and say, oh, it's totally safe, you didn't crash. Well, you definitely rub out a lot of the time that you as a human driver might need to react to keep it from bouncing off a curb or something like that. At the end of the day, you're still in charge of the car. And so I want to have the car doing things in a time and a speed that, that leaves me enough reaction time to take over between when I realize a car is doing something it shouldn't do and when it's gonna hit something. And things like that narrow the time gap between those two points. It shouldn't have any problem with this because all previous versions have been fine through this turn. People do tend to stick their nose out a bit. That was great, that was perfect. It was, as far as the pathfinding goes, that was pretty good. It did a little bobble. As I was saying, it was perfect, it was less than perfect, but it still was okay. That was definitely new driver good. Here's a left turn that it still has problems with. It should be getting in the no left turn, turn lane left right here, but it's road. slowing down and, and causing problems for the traffic behind me. And okay, it did all right. Uh, I don't like cars doing to me what this car did to that car. Oh, and this is actually a map issue. This is even with public build autopilot. It treats this like it's a controlled intersection. It's been that way for about six months. It wasn't always that way. So there's some kind of map issue, but you can see that the, the green dots turn gray at that intersection until we pr proceed through it. I usually cancel it by tapping the accelerator, but I didn't. But getting back to making that left turn, I don't like it as a driver coming straight through an intersection for oncoming left turners to start their left turn into where I am timing it so that I get out of their way just in time for them to cross the line. I don't like that at all. I don't like that the software just did that to the red sedan that was going through the intersection. Yeah, we didn't crash, but that makes, that's a signal that is hard to interpret by an oncoming driver as to whether or not they're gonna get crashed into. And, and that's a signal that I, as a human driver, do not give to oncoming traffic and I don't like getting that from left turners that are coming in and opposing traffic for me uh, so right now it's perfectly safe the path that's picking around the turn is perfectly fine but there certainly is a lot of unnecessary slowing there is no traffic in front or behind me there are no cyclists that there typically are on this road there was no reason to slow down that much, especially since when it goes the other direction, I don't think it slows down at all. So there's still an issue with the car not reading the, the conditions the, of, the, of a curve to pick the appropriate speed. Yeah, a little tab of the brakes there. It's still at the point where, just like public build autopilot three years ago when we got our car, there are times where it could make you green, especially for a passenger. There were there were times where I, different updates that, that I couldn't do because it was making my wife car sick. Uh, I, if she was in the car, I had to turn it off. It's not that way now, thankfully, for the when we're on the highway. That's really good. But I, I, I'm pretty impressed that we are now FSD beta on these routes that I just drove today about where public build autopilot was without factoring in all of the intersections that only FSD beta can do where, where it was about three years ago. I am super happy with this. I'm gonna continue testing this and I will show you areas that this software fails to accommodate be sure to subscribe for those videos i really appreciate you watching the tech of tech
and I hope to see you next time.